All right, guys, the 2023 season is officially a go. Bassmaster opens EQ, the Elite Qualifier Series. We're at Lake Eufaula. We're day one. Day one threw me a few different curveballs. And today we're actually on a canceled day, and that is why I went ahead and edited up day one footage for you to see. And I'm going to kind of walk you through the whole process and talk to you about how the fishing was how I caught them, and some of the adjustments that I made throughout the day to help me catch what I caught. But hey, if you get a chance, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Andrew Upshaw Fishing. Make sure you hit that sub button. It's in the bottom right corner, I think is where it's at. And uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I'm going to try to have these tournament videos pumped out as fast as I can at every single event just to make it easier on me and make it easier on you. So, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned a little, a little bit about Lake Eufaula and a few of the adjustments I made throughout the day to catch the bag that I caught. Keeper. Have your shit over there, dude. I'm just fishing right here and I'm about to leave. Yeah, I don't care. So I started out fishing a chatterbait. You know, actually it was a thunder cricket and I'd taken the skirt off and I'd put a little swim bait on it and I was fishing it around isolated lily pads and the bite just wasn't happening for me. I had a few short strikes, caught one really small fish and I ended up changing up and putting on a flashy swimmer with a 3.75 inch raid swimmer and I caught a couple of bass. Well, it's almost 11 o'clock at this point, and I have not had the day that I was expecting to have at this point. You know, I really thought I'd be able to catch them fishing up near the takeoff ramp and having a good day, but it just didn't really work out that way. So I had to throw an audible about 11 o'clock. I only had those two fish that you saw. And so I changed up and I went to some bed fish. Well, the reality is, is there wasn't that many fish on beds. And the area I wanted to go to, I honestly thought people had already caught them. I mean, they weren't the hardest ones to see or the hardest ones to catch. So I made this really long run down to this area, and lo and behold, there's not a single boat in there. And I was just in shock. And I roll up to my first fish, and here, y'all just watch it right here.
we go. In the mouth. Right there. There we go. I figured she'd bite eventually. All right. Number three. So I get done, I, I catch that one, I catch a couple more, I make a few moves throughout the lake, and I remembered a couple real isolated bedfish that I had, and so I ran over to those, and, and it just worked out. You know, the, the crappy thing is, is there was a fish that I fished for for about 30 to 40 minutes, and it was a four and a half pounder, and I could not get that fish to bite. I ended up, at the very end of the day, I ran back to that single fish, and first cast in there, I catch her, and it was by far my biggest fish of the day. It was a four and a half or so, four, four and a half around that range, but I caught her on the first cast, and it, it's really important, I want y'all to all know, it's really, really important when you get in a situation like that, that sometimes you gotta just leave. You gotta just cut all ties and, and roll and then maybe come back if the, the time warrants it. And it did in that situation, I made a stop. I literally idle into the spot. I make one cast, I catch it and I leave and I had to go to, to back to weigh in. So it worked out really well. And so, um, you know, overall, not a really bad day.
what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Um, so I gotta figure that out. Starting to rain. We got a really big storm coming in tomorrow. A bunch of real high winds. I don't think we're going tomorrow. I think we'll be fishing Saturday. But I got a lot of decisions to make. I gotta figure out if I'm gonna do what I did today or if I'm gonna scrap it and go do something else. I mean, I caught a good bag. I just don't think I have much left. Uh, so, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed today. I know I enjoyed today. It was really stressful though. Tomorrow's gonna be a good day though. I got a good day. Uh, so, if y'all haven't subscribed yet, make sure y'all subscribe. I really appreciate all y'all support and everything that y'all do. I know I don't post a lot. I've actually had like a dozen people come up to me today, or this week, and tell me, man, Andrew Upshaw stopped posting videos. I haven't really, I mean, I guess I kind of slowed down a little bit, but I hadn't stopped. I'm still here, guys. So, uh, appreciate y'all watching. Day two is going to be coming in just a couple days. So, uh, make sure y'all stay tuned. Hope y'all enjoyed it.